The first thing we have to do is to make a hem on both ends of the rectangle. First, fold one quarter of an inch, press and make a seam at one eighth of an inch. To make the French seam, measure two inches from the top down of the rectangle and sew from that point down one quarter of an inch. Once your seam is done, turn your piece inside out. To make our French seam, we are going to enclose the seam we just made. Start sewing at the very starting point you did with the first seam. I like to put a pin just like this to mark the exact same point I need to start sewing. Now it's time to make a new seam of one quarter of an inch on each side. Once done, turn your piece so the right side of the fabric is on the outside. Open the top part and make a clip just on one layer of the fabric of the seams we have right here, just like this. Be careful to not cut more than what I'm cutting here in the video. You are going to repeat this on each of the four sides, but let me make you a close-up so you can see better what I'm doing. Yep, just that small cut. We are making this cut so we can unfold the seams just like I'm doing here. And why are we unfolding them, you ask? Let me show you. But first things first, let's give this piece a nice press so we can work easier with this. Okay, now open the top part and we are going to fold the piece we cut under the seam so we can make a nice little hem right here. We are going to pin it and repeat on each of the four sides. We need to make a seam on each of these sides at about one quarter of an inch. To make the channels from where a ribbon is going to pass through, fold the top part in half and secure it with some pins. Repeat on the other side. Now you have to make a seam that's exactly over the top of the seam we made in the hem. Okay, now this is the last step. We have to pass the ribbons through the channels we made with that seam. And just in case you have ever wondered how a drawstring bag works, let me show you. The first ribbon is going to hug our bag facing that side, and the second ribbon is going to do the same but in the opposite side. And what happens is that when you pull the ties, the fabric will gather at the center closing the bag. So now let's insert our ribbons just like I showed you. I am going to use a loop turner, but you can use an elastic inserter or even a safety pin if you don't have any of these tools. Insert two ends of the ribbon on one side and the other two ends of the other ribbon from the other side. And that's it. Now you have your drawstring back. Open it with the help of your fingers from the center and to close it, just pull the ties on the ends. To sew our second style, we are going to start the same way we did with the first bag. Make a little hem of one quarter of an inch on each end. Now our hem is sewn and pressed, we are going to search both sides of this rectangle. Flip the piece right side up and fold the rectangle by aligning the hems on the top. Now measure 2.5 inches from the top down and put a pin to mark that point. From that point down, mark another inch and that's the part we are not going to sew. Repeat the same process on the other side. Ok, now we are going to sew from this point to the first pin and from the second pin down and the same thing on the other side. As you can see there's a space we didn't sew. So now open the seams and press them good and flat. Fold the hem and check that the top part of it is just below the opening we have here. Use some pins and secure it around the whole opening. If you are struggling with your pins, use this tip. Put a cardboard between the two layers of the bag and this will make it so much easier to pin only the layer you want to pin. Before inserting a ribbon, we are going to make a seam right here and measure the width of a ribbon from that point up. I'm going to make a mark 1 of an inch above the ribbon so it can move freely. So let's make these two seams to create the channel for where our ribbon is going to pass through. The first seam is super easy, you just have to sew above the seam of the hem we made at the very beginning and the second one is the mark we just made. Now it's just time to pass the ribbon through the openings and you will have your beautiful drawstring bag. 
It's super important for you to remember that in this type of bag, you can also use two ribbons just as we did in the first bag. Just follow the steps to insert them on opposite sides like in the first bag. The other thing you can do is to make the channel of the second bag a lot narrower so you have more fabric gathering on the top. And this is the beautiful result. Now you know how to make drawstring bags in two different ways. Don't forget to visit our full blog post on mygoldenthimble.com where you can learn more about drawstring bags such as how to shorten them and how to make a flat bottom on your bag. Subscribe to our channel and click at the heart at the bottom of the post.